Now when I say Volvo, chances are that you might be thinking of a car that's safe, that does not compromise any way in build quality and keeps the focus on safety not only for its passengers, but also the pedestrians around it. Well, that is the Volvo brand for you. But how did that become so? How did Volvo become synonymous with safety? Well, there's actually a very interesting story that goes back some years, wherein Volvo came out with the technology which made everything safer, but decided to share it with the world without charging any money. And that story being continued to the present, where they're pushing safety the most, and a promising future where they say safety will be the number one priority for people buying cars. What is this all about? Let's take a closer look. To understand how Volvo became synonymous with safety, we need to go back a few years. Actually, make that a lot of years, all the way back to 1944. You see the glass that is used as a windscreen that does not shatter when broken? That's because it is a laminated glass and Volvo introduced it in their cars back in 1944. But the turning point, the defining moment in this story did not happen until the late 50s. The number of cars on roads were rapidly increasing and so were the accidents, most of them being fatal. Enter Nils Bolin, who with the help of Bengt Aldergaard and Per Olof Wiman, I hope I am pronouncing that right, came up with an invention, the three-point safety belt. The very seat belt that you and I use in our cars every day. They were so effective and ahead of their time that if you notice, cars have changed so much over all these years but what has remained constant are the seat belts which are one of the key safety factors in accidents even today, even in the modern cars. Volvo made this a standard feature on all their cars in 1959 and made this design patent open, which in simple words means they shared this technology with the entire world. Now that is when Volvo became synonymous with safety. But they did not stop there. They took this brand identity and really hammered it as their forte over time. Volvo developed the first rear-facing child seat in 1964 and then went on to make their own booster seats in 1978 which helped protect children of all sizes seated at the back from side impacts as well. In 1991, they introduced a side impact protection system which channeled the force of the impact away from the doors and into the safety cage. In 1994, adding to this even further, they also introduced side airbags for the passengers and then went on to make this a standard equipment on all their models all the way back in 1995. In 1998, they introduced the whiplash protection system which saved passengers from injury in case of a crash from the back, saving them from, well, a whiplash. Jump to 2004 and Volvo has now come out with the blind spot information system which detected vehicles that were in the blind spot of the driver with a side view mirror mounted camera and alerted the driver with an inbuilt light. The same year, all Volvos also got the daytime running lights as standard all over the world. And in 2005, for those who drove a convertible like the Volvo C70, the company came out with door mounted inflatable curtains. How smart was that? In 2006, Volvo came out with what they call as Personal Car Communicator or PCC, which allowed for keyless entry and keyless ignition. And also, the key would tell you if the alarm has been activated and with the heartbeat sensor inside the car, it would tell you if someone is inside hiding in there as well. In 2007, which is 13 years ago from today, Volvo had come out with adaptive cruise control on the S80 that adapted the cruise control speed according to the car in front as well. And it also had collision warning and brake support too. Just to give you an idea of how much Volvos had improved by this time, every single Volvo since 2009 has got 5 out of 5 stars from the European crash test body Euro NCAP. And to give you an idea how successful Volvo has been, well, it is estimated that over 10 lakh lives across the world have been saved by now, all thanks to the three-point seat belt alone. And this is when people are yet to realize that they should belt up all the time, no matter where they are seated inside the car. Another mind-blowing statistic is from the Volvo XC90. Ever since its launch in 2002, more than 50,000 of these cars have been sold and no one, I repeat, no one, be it the driver or the passenger, has been killed in the XC90 kind of a stat that is only exclusive to this Volvo. And that brings us to today. While other cars have become so much safer over the years, Volvo still remains to be one of the safest cars on road. 
They get features like they would stop on their own in the event of a crash and avoid it. And even if you were to get into a crash, the safety systems will keep you safe. Volvo is so confident that they do press events where they crash the car in front of the journalists from all over the world and let them see it for themselves that the car has taken minimal impact. And remember that viral video where a truck came to a halt and narrowly escaped from running over a kid? Well, that truck was a Volvo and it stopped due to Volvo's emergency braking system. Also, remember this Volvo SUV that went head-on into an oncoming truck? Well, as bad as it may seem, the driver of the XC70 simply walked away. So yes, Volvo has created a unique identity for itself and then went on to build over it. The effect is so much that when you see a Volvo car on road, you may not know what model number it is or which year was it launched, but you will think of it as a safe car. But what about the future? Well, the future begins from now. Volvo has already announced that come 2019, all its cars will be electric or hybrid. That's not it, Volvo also has a mission 2020, according to which Volvo says that by 2020, no one should be killed or seriously injured in a new Volvo car. And that is a bold claim, it really is. But if there's any car maker that can claim this, then it can only be Volvo. Then come 2021, all Volvo cars from that year on will have a top speed limited to 180 km an hour. That's not to say that their cars can't go faster than that, they already do, but they will put the speed limit in a bit to make cars safer. The Swedish giant also says that by 2025, 50% of Volvo car sales volume will be fully electric and by then, Volvo will have put 1 million or 10 lakh cars on roads which would be fully electric. And these are just features. If you were to look at the concepts that Volvo is working on and how their current generation cars and their cars of the future look from inside as well as the outside, well, it won't be a wrong thing to say that Volvo will not only be making the safest cars on the road, but also the prettiest ones. So there you have it, that's the story of Volvo and how they became synonymous with safety, what they are doing today and how do they see their future. So next time when you put on your seatbelt, well, that is all thanks to Volvo.